Hey everybody, I'm Monica Davis with Herman and Davis Properties with Charter One Realty. Thank you for joining us for your Hilton Head Bluffton real estate market update. So today we are speaking to you from Hazel Dean's. And this is a gourmet meat, cheese, and wine store and actually so much more. Um, we wanted to spotlight them today because they were located in Sea Pines off of Lighthouse Road and they recently moved to the village of Wexford and they have an incredible wine selection, craft beer, black Angus beef, uh, amazing cheeses, and you can actually purchase, they'll actually make a charcuterie board, you can add smoked salmon or trout to the board, um, and then they have these really cool prepared meals, like casso buco, duck breast, duck confit, that you can purchase and have a gourmet meal right at home. So uh, we just, you know, during the winter time, uh, some local businesses and restaurants, you know, it can be a little tough. So we just really wanted uh, to spotlight Hazel Dean's because of their recent move and come out and support them because they really have so many cool things in their shop. So now let's get to real estate. So uh, we've been working on all our stats and year-end market reports and here's just some things we've kind of taken away. In 2022, we underwent a major shift especially in the last half of the year uh, because there was economic uncertainty. Uh, higher mortgage rates reduced buyer demand, uh, slowed the pace of home sales, and moderated home prices. And prior to this almost sudden change, we had the red-hot housing market of the past two and a half years that was characterized by sub-3% mortgage rates, um, fast paced bidding wars and record low inventory. Current market conditions have provided us an opportunity to become re-educated about what a typical housing market looks like. While 2022 may be remembered as the year of housing volatility, volatility 2023 will become the year of long lost normalcy returning to our market with mortgage rates stabilizing. We still feel that our values will be way above 2019 levels. So now let's talk about the data that's happened over the last week since I last talked to you guys. So um, last week we saw 60 new listings to come on the market. This week we've had 50 new properties to hit the market. 55 properties uh, went under contract last week. We've had 80 properties go pending this week. 113 closed sales occurred last week. We've had 43 uh, properties close this week. We saw 55 price reductions last week. We've only seen six price reductions this week. So if you're looking to buy or sell a home this year, the best way to ensure you're up to date on the latest market insights is to partner with the trusted real estate advisors who have longevity and a track record of success in both up and down markets. So call me or any member of the Herman and Davis team for confidential consultation and a market evaluation related to your property. And I also have to do a shout out to my Georgia Bulldogs, back-to-back -back national champions. Um, I, I got this lovely jacket from my good friend Kat Donaldson, who's a realtor friend, LSU, who gave me this jacket and I plan on burning it as soon as this video is over. Okay, Happy New Year again, and thanks for tuning in. See you next week.